guys welcome back to my channel my name is Alicia in today's video we are going to be testing out some of the one size by Patrick Star like face complexion type products so I have got the powder foundation I've got the concealer and then I picked up the little puff um, to use in combination with the powder foundation now as far as products from Patrick Star so far, the only thing that I have tried is the one size eyeshadow palette. I did really like that, um, but I really wanted to try this powder foundation. I've seen people like rave about this. I have seen other tutorials where it is really, really high coverage. Um, so me being like a full coverage type of girl, I wanted to try this out and just see how it worked for me. Um, powder foundation is not something I don't think I've used since probably literally like middle school as far as like only using a powder. So I thought I would put this to the test. This is the look that I came up with. Um, I'm going to do a demo and then I'm going to give you guys a few checkpoints throughout the day just so we can see, you know, how it wears. If you are interested in that, then please stay tuned. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe before you leave if you enjoyed this video so you can catch all my future content. And let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, I am a little bit nervous about this video. It has been a long time. I'm talking about probably like middle school since I have used just a powder foundation. But I've seen reviews for this Patrick star one and it's supposed to be really really high coverage so we'll see um i also have of course his concealer this is in the shade light one which is light with rosy undertone which is exactly what i have um this retails for 25 dollars. it is the turn up the base concealer and i am gonna like spot conceal with this and then we will go in with the powder foundation along with his puff the powder foundation retails for $33 and the puff retails for $14. Now I do just have a little sample of his primer. This is Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. And I figured since we're using the rest of his base products, it kind of makes sense to use this. So the only thing I have on my skin thus far is just my moisturizer. This is what that looks like we're gonna go ahead and put this on it's definitely more of like a thick type of primer <laughs> see if i can get a mirror here I don't really see a difference to be honest with you thus far, but we'll see how it applies. I mean, everything does feel like smoothed out, but my pores still look the same and all of that. So we shall see. I got you guys pulled in a little bit closer for the concealer and foundation portion in this video. Um, I used the like shade finder or whatever from Sephora and usually that works pretty well for me. I mean, this looks like a decent shade match for me, actually. Um, I have got so many breakouts around my chin area and I know it is from wearing that mask at the hospital. Um, for those of you that don't know, my husband was hospitalized for about a week for his diabetes. Um, doing better now, but yeah. I'm still trying to get over like all of this is just from that mask for wearing it one week so I don't see how those people that have to wear them every single day all day at their jobs like the struggle with those things are real so I've just kind of concealed where you know I normally would and I'm gonna grab a brush really quick all right, when I want more coverage, I've been using this like flat foundation brush. This is from the brand Vasanti, but tons of brands make brushes like this. I just find that it gives me more coverage. And I'm gonna go ahead and start from down here on the chin. 
and basically it's kind of just like a padding and pulling motion and light pulling by the way you don't really want to tug on your skin if you can help it so now that I'm blending this in <clears throat> It does look a little bit dark for me. That one full. A lot of the times like around my nose area and stuff like that, I think it looks like acne, but it is just like redness in my skin, like rosacea. Um, it's not really it's not like active acne or anything like that. I think it's just scarring kind of left behind and then just natural pink in my cheeks. All right, so that is the concealer all blended out. Honestly, I would go out of the house like this. Like, I don't think it looks bad. Um, but we are gonna see about this powder foundation. So, got his puff that he specifically made for this powder. It's got the little thing for your fingers. And then here is the puff. It's not too stiff i read some reviews that said this was really stiff but doesn't feel that stiff to me it's actually pretty like cushy um very like thick so for the powder foundation it said i was shade medium three which is medium with rosy undertones and i hope that that was correct again i used the shade finder from sephora um when you open up this packaging, so cute, right? This is gonna show a thousand fingerprints. I just picked it up and already look at all those fingerprints, but very like nice magnetic component. You open that up, it's got a nice big mirror, and then here is your powder here. I don't know, that could be a decent match. All right, so let's go ahead and go in here. All right, so I've got some on here. Holy shit, look how dark that is, y'all. But yeah, it's supposed to be like such a quick application is what I have seen and heard. But yeah, in no, in no way is that my color. Just for shits and gigs, we are going to go ahead and finish applying this. And my closest shade match is NARS Yukon. Um, if you look back at some of my previous videos, NARS is like one of my favorite foundations ever. The soft matte one, as well as the long wear radiant foundation. And what the heck, usually Sephora is so freaking good about getting me matches. I mean, I could probably get away with this, but mm, look at that. I'm gonna go straight Oompa Loompa today, y'all. But you can see how fast this is. Like, I feel like this does have really good coverage. I feel like you wouldn't really have to um, conceal before this because this does, this is a powder that has very good coverage on its own. Um, and then the puff, because it is so big, it makes it really, really fast to blend this out. So, if you can get your correct shade, <laughs> what I'm saying is, I am pretty damn impressed with this powder. And what is really impressing me more is that it doesn't look powdery on my face. 
Now I've got something going on over here, which I tried to like cover this up more earlier. It just looked like an area of my cheek that wasn't like taking the color or something. All right, I guess that looks pretty good. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna just blend this down a little bit. I mean, I'm not that mad at it, honestly. Other than the shade being too dark, which, you know, I did this shade match like two or three times because I was like, really? Like medium? I remember that whenever I was buying it. I did the shade match a few times because I was like, doesn't seem like that would be right. But I went with it because Sephora is usually like right on point. Um, yeah. So, so far that will be my only complaint. But it really does not look powdery again though. Like, you see what I'm talking about right here? Where it just looks lighter? <laughs> and then it's like I put more product on and somehow it still, like, just isn't taking it. I don't know what's up with that. All right, now that we have got the powder on completely, I think it looks decent. I did, you know, as you can see, I rubbed it down my neck and on my chest just to kind of mesh everything together since it is a darker color than my actual skin tone. But having said that, I think I could get away with it. Um, definitely probably would be something better for me to wear in the summertime as opposed to the winter time like it is now when I'm filming this um but having said that this powder does not look like powder and that is what I was worried about I didn't know if it was going to look like just a cakey mess and really it doesn't look any different than like a normal foundation that I would use um I will say that like in this area right here is it not just looking like a little funky? It looks like it really grabbed right here and then like the color did not apply correctly right there. So there's that. Um, this powder does have good coverage, um, but as you can tell, like you can still see my spots like right here. I of course didn't conceal right there and those spots are coming through like you can see them and like here again I did not conceal right there and you can see it but it doesn't bother me wearing it like this um as far as that like passionness goes it could be the um it could be that primer that I use but it is a one size primer so you would think that these you know go hand in hand um so I don't know. I am going to wear this today. I'm going to give you guys some check-ins throughout the day just so we can see, you know, how this is wearing since this is a foundation review. Um, but yeah, as of right now, this is what we're looking like. Oh, and again, it's got some weird, like, patchiness over here as well. So, don't know what's up with that, but I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. I will be back to show you the finished look and then we'll go from there. All right guys, I'm back. This is the finished makeup look. I'm gonna run you guys through what I have on the rest of my face to try to lighten this powder foundation up. I pulled out the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is the brightening and setting palette. And I went in between these two shades and I put that like under my eyes, a little bit like on my forehead where you would highlight on my chin and on my nose. Um, it did a little bit of lightening, but for the most part, the way that I left it before is kind of what it remained looking like. Um, for bronzer, I pulled out 
the Charlotte Tilbury Look of Love face palette just because I'm trying to finish this up. I know I had it in my empties, but um, as you can tell, I've got a little bit of this bronzer left and I really want to use that up. I will say <laughs> that it was about the same color as the foundation, so it, again, it didn't really do too much. Um, for highlighter, I pulled out the Jaclyn Cosmetics. This is her Luminous Powder and is in shade Do Me. Such a pretty, like, natural looking highlighter. I do really, really like that. And then for blush, I definitely wanted to stick away from orange because I did not want to look like an Oompa Loompa. So I pulled out this little Dior one. This is the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. And looking at this, it looks very intimidating. But as you can tell, when you put it on your cheeks, it really just makes you have like a pink flush. I, this is one of my favorite, favorite blushes and it's such a unique one. It's a little pricey. Um, it is Dior, but it's very, very unique to my collection. And I always pull that one out. All right, on the eyes, I pulled out an old palette. This is Persona and this is the Identity 2. This is one of my favorite palettes. If I'm being honest, I like the Identity 1 better just because it's a lot more like neutral tones and it's actually um, geared towards people with brown eyes. But this one is a gorgeous palette. So I've got this in the crease. I've got this under the brow. I've got this on the inner corner. I've got this on the outer edge of my eye and then this all over the lid and then I've got these two on the lower lash line and I do really really like the look that I came out with. For mascara I used my classic Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. This thing is almost done and I'm so sad because like I said I only have like one mini maybe two if I can find it but I've already dug and so far I can only find one mini and they don't sell that one anymore so for brows I'm still using the It Cosmetics Brow Power um, little pencil for my lips I've got on a MAC combo so I've got on the MAC lip liner and strip down and then this is one of my favorite nudes again from MAC and this is in the shade Fresh Brew. I was trying to see what kind. This is one of the Luster lipsticks. And I, I'm starting to realize that the Luster formula is one of my favorites. It's more moisturizing. It's a little bit more sheer. And it just looks more like glossy. It's kind of like a lipstick and lip gloss in one. And I set everything down with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Alright, having said all that, the finished look... I'm actually okay with like I think it I don't look crazy even though you saw how different of a shade that foundation was I think it looks fine as far as the finish it does not look powdery at all like I will get super close it does not look powdery um which that's the most like surprising thing to me it doesn't look heavy doesn't look powdery and it had pretty good coverage like for a powder that was definitely like a solid medium foundation um but yeah uh we are gonna see how this wears throughout the day I'll give you guys a few check-ins right now it's like 8 15 a.m so I'll probably try to wear this till like 8 p.m maybe a little bit later just so we can get a solid wear test but I'll see you guys in a bit all right so I just got off work I'm in my car right now. Um, it is 6.54. So let's see how many hours have I had this on. I have had this foundation on now for 10 hours. And as you can tell, I mean, there's like a little bit of wear right here. But overall, like I am very impressed with how this is worn. Um, I think I'll pull my mirror down just so I can look. It really honestly does not look too much different than the time that I put it on. So um, for a powder foundation for 10 hours of wear, like get out of town. Um, I'm going to keep this on. I'm going to go do some housework 
and I will do one final check-in and then we will get our final thoughts on this foundation. All right guys, here's the deal. This is going to be my last check-in because it is 1.45 a.m. Um, I got carried away. I went to sleep last night and I said I was just going to take a nap and then get up and start working and it is 1.45 a.m. So now I'm about to do that but anyway as you can tell I have worn this makeup so much longer than you are supposed to. Um, but this is just life guys so um, I definitely wanted to still do the check-in and let you guys see and still right it's not looking bad um i will give you guys a close-up obviously yes i've got some like wear in this area um but that is kind of like how i had my face whenever i was passed out um but yeah not not freaking bad so let's go ahead and go through this stuff um the little primer, I don't think using something one time really is enough to give like a good indication in terms of stuff like this because you're going to use um, different products on top of it. Having said that, I really just kind of didn't like how it felt. Um, whenever I was putting it on, I was telling you it felt like a little bit thick. And personally, I like something that is a little bit more like the Smashbox photo finish that is more like slick and kind of smoothing without being like greasy um so I think that's what that one was kind of trying to go towards but yeah I won't be picking you know the full size of that up after trying the sample I'm not like intrigued to keep trying it the concealer I actually really really liked um of course I've got some little black under here now, but um, this did a great job. You could see after I spot concealed with this, like I was fine to just walk out the house like that. Um, this is 0.24 fluid ounces. Hold on just a second. All right, I wanted to pull the Tarte Shape Tape just because these are similar in size and I know that you get a ton of product in this component. This one is actually 0.338 ounces and again this is 0.24 so um, even though they are like the same size you're definitely getting more product in the tart. So that's just something to kind of consider because I think the coverage level on these is very comparable. Price point is comparable so um, that's kind of something to weigh in your decision making. And then the thing that I was most excited about is this powder. So $33, honestly, this color would definitely be more suited to me in the summertime or when I am self tanning. Um, having said that, it's what I have on today. It doesn't look crazy. I went to work like this. No one said anything, no one noticed anything. Um, once I had everything on, I think it really worked out just fine um, in a pinch when I'm just trying to fly out the door as quickly as possible. I think using this, um, I definitely would still do at this point at my current level of whiteness. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, but yeah, I think I may pick this up in like my winter shade um because i really did like this and what i liked about this the most again was that it had pretty good coverage like i said it is a solid medium coverage um you can probably build it up a little bit more but yeah it this is a really good powder and if you have like a foundation that is very light coverage I could see setting it with this and you are going to get more coverage for sure and then as far as this puff goes um, I really enjoy it I've seen a lot of reviews that did not like this at all to me it was nice and cushy on my face it was soft um, 
I have no complaints. It's a big enough area where you can really like do a lot of work quickly. And for, what is it, $14? Yeah, that's not, not a bad price at all. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.